field back in uh, Paris where Mike and Bill both found reals. I haven't found any silver here yet. Yeah, hopefully today will be the day and Chris will find his first real. It, uh, you know, as we said before, the many of people have been on this field, and uh, but we're still finding, you know, good stuff out of here. So hopefully today uh, will be the day. And please hit the subscribe button. All right, myself and Chris have been out here going back and forth now, probably for about an hour or so, and really not getting a lot of signals today. But uh, I just came through and uh, found this old musket ball. That's pretty cool. So, it's uh, not bad. Not what you expect here, but it, uh, you know, hopefully the coins will be next. All right, back at you. All right, I finally got a good signal and uh, come over here and dug a plug out. And I uh, didn't think it was going to be as good as it turned out to be because it uh, was only about two inches in the ground. But that's definitely small, and it is silver. That was close enough to Bill to come on over and see what his silver is, so I'll take over. He can put his camera away. All right, I'll shut yeah. it down, and uh, Chris will pick it up. It's definitely an old coin. I'm going to put some water on it. It's a thin one. Yeah. You can make the, the face out really good. It looks like it's Spanish. I don't think, I don't know if I don't think it's a real. I don't know what it is. But it ring up as an 86, which is what the half reals were ringing up yeah. at. 85, 86. It ring up as a real. Looks like one. You sure it's not? It might be. I don't know. Let's see. No. It is a cent. A cent? Yep. A one cent piece? 18... 1888. Something cents. It's got to be it's ten cents. Foreign. It's got to be ten cents if it's silver. Oh, it's foreign though. It's foreign because it has a crown on it. it. Might be Canadian. Oh, Canadian. Something. Probably a Canadian dime. 18, looks like 1888. If you can't hear him, as he says, it looks like it's 1888. Has a crown on it, and it may be a Canadian coin. Something cents, but I can't make it out there. Um, can we get a close-up of it here? Uh, yeah, Canada. It definitely says Canada on it, so it is Canadian. It's some Canadian scent. Uh, and flip it over. Eighty-eight, which is cool. We'll flip it over, and uh, it's real thin, though. Is that? Can you see both sides? Yeah, you can definitely see both sides. The crown on the back. And it says cents, not cent. And then 1880, either 1888 or 1886. Well, the Silver King strikes again. That's pretty cool. I haven't found a piece of silver yet, but uh, anybody that knows me, I don't like silver. I don't like finding silver. I like to walk around and get the trash out of the ground for these guys so, so they can find the silver. Yeah, in uh, fact, I think I just dug some trash right over here a little while ago, just so you could find this. That's it. I kind—I went over it and I heard it, but I, I was like, nah. "Yeah, I'll leave it for Bill." Just a high tone. Who wants to dig a high tone? Right. But yeah, that's different. I thought it might be a real or a trime because it's the same same size of a real or a trime. But and of Ooh, course, nice. in New York, we're close enough to the Canadian border to get a uh, Canadian coins. So yeah. there you go. Definitely take it. Now it's your turn. No, I'm only going for trash today. I'll get the coins out of the ground so you can get the washers. <laughs> <laughs> That's sweet. Well, my first signal of the day, I was pretty sure that was a penny. Looks like a toasted penny. But if you look closely right in the middle there, you can see where there used to be a shank. So it must be a flat button. But I likey. Love my flat buttons, so... On to the next. Well, Bill just dug his silver over there, and gosh darn it, I'm trying to get the trash out of the ground for him, and I accidentally dug his silver too. Not sure what it is yet, but uh, I'll let you know in just a moment. A few feet of left me, and uh, he's calling silver coin. 
So uh, we'll walk over here and see what he's doing some oh my god -ing. He's got to do oh my god because he just got his first silver out of this field. Well, like I just said. Oh yeah, he's that's a big silver coin too. Like I just said, I'm over here trying to dig the uh, trash out of the ground and I accidentally hit silver. Sorry, you were supposed to find this. Got to use a little juice on it, see what you got. Yeah, I don't have any juice with me because I was a dummy and left it in the car. That's because you wanted to dig washers all day. Almost looks like another Canadian dime Here's though. Here's some juice. Uh, actually, I don't know what that is. It's nice size silver. It's like dime size silver. Now watch, you'll find a nice cat bust, uh, cat bust dime or something here. Well, it looks American. Can you see it without the glasses? No, oh, I can't see it without glasses. Get the, get the magnifying glass out. Looks like a barber. Let's barber see. dime? 1903, so it must be a barber, huh? Yeah. Yeah, 1903. Let's flip it over, see. One dime. One dime. It's a nice shape, though. Yep. It's here. It seems to be right in this this area here. I think we got the, the area. Nice, beautiful barber. Yeah, sorry, I was trying my hardest not to dig any uh, silver so you guys could find it, but well, Mike's not here today. Claims to be in Texas, but we don't know where he really is. Yeah, he's hiding. He's out planting washers in our next field, so. All okay. right. On to the next. Chris broke the broke the ice and uh, got on the silver. I just found silver, and uh, hopefully we'll have a lot more coming. All right, I'm going to attempt a live dig here. Uh, usually don't have any good luck with live digs, but uh, getting a nice, that nice beautiful signal on a dais around a 80, 86. Nice repeatable soft signal in here so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do a live dig on it and uh, see what we got it's probably gonna be junk like I said with a live dig but uh, hopefully we'll be able to do a live dig and catch us digging one of these coins out of here there's not a whole ton of signals left out here so it's either iron signals or you know, good signals are usually something, but usually you do a live dig and you get fooled, so. Let's see, stuff hasn't been very deep in the ground, so. Grab onto the pinpointer and see if we got it out of the ground. That looks like a little uh, washer, if that's it. So, little uh, copper washer. So, uh, I'll go over it again with the detector. But again, if I didn't live dig it, it could have been a coin. But all right, on to the next. Over from where I find that I found that uh, silver barber, and right here I just dug the tiniest buckle. It's a cute little guy. I don't know if it's a shoe buckle or what it is, but it's tiny. All right. I probably shouldn't do this, but I got a nice solid 93 signal on the XP Deus. And anybody that uses an XP Deus or an Orax know that that's a silver dime. So with that, I am going to attempt another live dig here. And if this isn't a silver dime or a piece of junk, you're probably not going to see me do any more live digs for quite a while. But let's uh, let's hope that that's what this is. And uh, Chris will be probably running over this way because he took off and headed back down the field. But uh, this certainly did sound nice, which. Uh, Actually, I hope that it's a rock there and not just a piece of chunk. But um, let's run a pinpointer around and uh, see. 
with my luck every single live dig I do is uh, junk that is a piece of junk so uh, the curse of the live dig holds true and uh, you're probably not gonna be seeing me do any live digs for a little bit but um, all right we'll be back at you and uh, hopefully with something good all right just dug a hole and uh, got a little signal just dug out an old uh, old pistol bullet got some oh, got some nice patina on it so it's been in the ground a while that's pretty cool nice uh, old pistol bullet all right on to the next all right, Chris is bored. I know he's bored. He found that one silver, and now he's way over there towards the woods. I don't know if you can see him or not. I'm kind of just picking around in that same area, you know, where we're finding uh, we're finding the reals and finding the silver coins, and just picking around and looking for it, finding any little squeakers that I could get today because they're they're hard to come by. And uh, I just popped out the plug and. I don't know if you could see that or not, but that is definitely silver in the hole. So uh, I'm going to pick it up and clean it off, get back to you, and uh, show you what it is. All right, I'll be right back. All right, I cleaned it up, and uh, hopefully I got it right so you could see it. It's an 1875 seeded dime. And on the back, it has a Carson City mint mark on it. There's the CC on there. Uh, hopefully you could make that out. Uh, that's the first Carson City silver that I've dug. So I'm very, very happy with that. But uh, they're in here. And uh, just have to pick them out. I'm going to send a picture of this to Chris. And uh, tell him he might want to get back over here. But if I was greedy, I wouldn't send him a picture and I'd just dig the rest of them. All right, back at you. Okay, this one's ringing up as a 90. I'm going to somewhat live dig it. I'm going to put the camera down, then pop the plug. And then uh, we'll see what's inside it. But it's ringing up as a solid 90. It'd be nice if it was a piece of silver, but it's a little low. So, be back at you. All right, I popped the plug out and... Does look like there's silver in there. It's not too deep though, but Bill's way across the field, so I can't call him over. But he's got the uh, the juice today. I don't have any. That. It's a modern dime. If I can get the ear off it. Two thousand. It's not too old, I guess. Two thousand, not a silver. Oh well. It's money. Alright, I'm still in that area and uh where I've dug the last couple of silvers and I think I got a copper. Um Got this out of the hole. Can't really tell what it is. I have no clue. I don't know. We'll have to uh, clean it up and uh, I'll get right back to you. Alright, I cleaned it up and uh, it's got like the reverse swastika on the back and on the front it's a good luck token it doesn't have any date on there but there's some writing on there I'll have to uh, clean it up later with a toothpick and uh, see if I can see it a little bit better uh, what that writing is but it's definitely an old uh, good luck token it was probably uh, I believe those were early 1800s uh, when the, the swastika had a whole other meeting 
and uh, it was for good luck. And then uh, during World War II, uh, totally changed, took a turn for the worse with uh, Adolf Hitler to turn it around and um, then make it into a sign for hate instead of uh, good luck. So I'll clean that up better and, uh, you know, get some more pictures of that online. But that's pretty cool. All right, on to the next. All right, coming around and uh, just dug this signal. Kind of unusual for here. Usually uh, we dig these down when we're uh, Civil War metal detecting, but uh, it's a poncho grommet. So uh, it's pretty cool. It's different. So, all right, on to the next. Yeah. Looks like 1858. Yeah. Hey, Chris dug a penny over here and didn't know what it was, and it's a flying eagle. I don't know if you can see it or not, but uh, I rang up as a 72 on the dais, and all day long I've been digging up 72s that are like big hunks of lead, so I almost didn't dig it. Yeah. But sometimes when they sound so good, you just have to go for it. Yeah. But it's my second flying eagle, one in Virginia and now one here in New York. That is awesome. 1858, I think. Yeah, it looks but like, it looks it like 1858. 1858. And we're right near where that old house site was. I just went over a low 70 signal a few feet away, so I'm going to backtrack, see if I could find it, which I'll dig it up and it'll be a piece of scrap. But that is awesome, finding be, that flying eagle like that. So, eagle. All right, hopefully there's some uh, nice flying reals in here. All right, we'll be back at you. Cool. All right, down there in the hole, there is uh, something copper. I don't know if it's a button or a coin, a penny, but... Uh, I'll dig it out and uh, let's see what it is. It is a button and uh, look at that gilting on the back. That is awesome. Nice gold gilted button. Um, so nice flat button. But would look at the gold gilting on the back of that. That'll be really nice for cleaning up. I'll clean that up and uh, we'll get that in a wrap up. All right, on to the next. Okay, we're back at the truck taking a quick break, grabbing some water, starting to sprinkle on us a little bit. But in the meantime, I thought I'd uh, grab the uh, Flying Eagle and try to get a close-up of it. It's uh, kind of smooth, but you can see it pretty good. Light's hitting it just right, I think. Uh, I think it's an 1858. I'm not sure what the... Uh, when they were minted, could be 1868 because that that number's a little uh, little worn. But it looks like 1858. You can barely make out the one cent on the back. In fact, right now on the camera, I can't even tell if it's upside down or not. But there she is, starting to rain on us a little bit too. Good. All right, just dug this up and. Uh... Some kind of oval piece of copper or brass. I think it's copper, over a piece of copper. Um, I have no idea. It was either an old lid to something or maybe a piece to an old brooch or whatever. But on to the next. No shank. We're back out on it and uh, just found uh, another big flat button. It's got a lot of gold gilting on the back of it, but uh, the shank's broken off. But uh, that's a nice, nice button. All right. Now hopefully I could get a co old coin that's that size in silver. All right. Back at it. Okay. I just dug that uh, flying eagle right behind me there. And about five feet away, I got a little flat button. Still has a shank on it. It's smashed down, but it's there. And I like it. Looks like I might have hit it with the shovel though. It's gonna be a big hole, guys, because there's a lot of rocks in here. I am gonna curse Bill and live dig his uh, hole here. Well, he's gonna live dig it, I'm just gonna video it. But anyway, every time we have a good signal, he says he got a 93 in the day, a solid. But uh, you know how it goes every time we live dig. Oh no. Is that it? Oh, it is a coin. Is it a coin or is it a button? I don't know. I don't know of any coin. Or it does look like a button, though. I think it might be a button. 
Ring it up at 93 though. It is a button. Oh, it's another one of those silver buttons, isn't it? That you found before. And it actually, it was right over here that you found it. Yep, that is a button. But That's your second silver button. Yeah, if they miss, uh, if they're missing buttons, they got to be missing coins. So, and Chris just dug that flying eagle a couple, just a couple feet away. So, I think we're going to pick through this area for a little while and see what we get. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Okay, whatever this is, it rang up really horrible. It's bouncing around from 60 to 55. And uh, I don't know why I dug it actually, but it just had that certain little beep that I thought, hey, I'll give it a shot. At first I thought it was a coin. Now I'm thinking it might be a big button, but I'm not sure yet. Let's find out. Yeah, sure enough, there used to be a shank on it. Don't know if it's quite large enough to call a dandy button. It's not silver, but it looks it. But, nice, I don't see any GW on it, so. Can't get too excited about it, but not bad. I like my buttons. All right, on to the next. Okay, Mike do, usually does the tip of the day, but he's in Texas, so I will do it. It's probably only going to affect 25% of you out there. But I'm the type of person that likes to keep the cardboard inside my hat. Keeps it up, keeps it stiff. But sometimes they get lost, sometimes they get ruined. So I found that if you get a coffee cup holder, one that wraps around a coffee cup to keep your hand from burning, and just break it off. It's got the perfect angle. If you can see that angle, put it upside down, put it inside the cap, and it works perfect. It's a perfect replacement. Okay, Bill's still setting his up. We're going to call this the Bill and Pony Show today, and I'm the pony. He uh, kicked my butt. But anyway... It started off with a little tiny buckle. I don't know if it's a shoe buckle or what it is. And got a 2000 dime. Yeah, I forget the year. I think it's a 1903 Barber. 1858 Flying Eagle. Then I got three buttons. Nothing to really call home to mom about. But I am kind of excited about another Flying Eagle button. And on the bills. Oh, by the way, uh, now out of this field, we now have coins from the 1700s, 1800s, 1900s, and now 2000s. So we have one from every century since the 1700s. All right, uh, got two good things. I got us uh, 1800s Canadian, I believe it's a dime, Canadian dime. Maybe it's, uh, I can't see what it is, but it says cents on the back. And then... Uh, a nice um, Carson City seated dime. And uh, got this cool token. It's uh, got a reverse swastika on one side. And on the other side, um, it, uh, it says good luck. It's a good luck token. There's some writing on there. I got to clean it up better. And uh, we'll post a picture on it later to uh, see what the writing says on it. But it's a good luck token. A lot of people don't know that the swastika is actually a good luck token and or a good luck sign. And then Nazi Germany swung it around to an SS. So a lot of times when people see that, they think it's actually a Nazi uh, emblem, but it's not. It's actually a peace, peace sign. And uh, got onto the buttons again. This uh, was a silver wash button. It rang up as a nice dime. It uh, a whole bunch of other kind of buttons. I got a couple of bullets here. I got a round ball, a uh, musket ball, and then I got this uh, little pistol bullet. Um, it looks a little worse. It's a uh, old, a uh, couple nice uh, taco button, uh, another big flat button. That's got a lot of gold gilting on it. Uh, this flat button has a lot of gold gilting on the back. That'll clean up really nice. And uh, there's a little concave button. And... Um, Dug a poncho grommet. Again, it's more like Civil War, what we dig there. 
got a D buckle and uh, this piece of uh, oval copper which it might have been a cap to something or it could have been part of a brooch that broke um, but don't forget your button you got a taco but, uh, bell today yeah there you go the taco bell buttons but uh, this tacoed up button uh, no shank on it but uh, must have been hit by a plow or something but uh, I mean, it was a pretty good day it uh, Chris did get on the board with the silver and uh, I thought I had a real in the hole with this one but it's a nice 1800s uh, Canadian dime we'll have to look or scent if, of some sort we'll have to see if they Sense. have half times because that's uh, that's a little smaller than the dime isn't it yeah 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 so I if uh, they had half times. yeah we'll have to look at it and uh, look it up and see what exactly that is because it uh, it says cents and not cent so um, but there's no word above yeah, us so we don't know what it is no Man, but, that definitely looks silver but uh, yeah had a little bit of luck uh, we've been on it all day long and uh, you know thought we were gonna get a lot more but uh, still in all in all it's a pretty good day now the rains coming down and uh, on to the next and uh, we'll be back at it we don't have uh, anything to do a wrap with so I guess we have uh, water so we could do a wrap with that yeah Mike usually does the, uh, the, the craft thing. he, he does the craft beer so that's a wrap yeah, that's a wrap